Merry Christmas, buddy. Wow. Sorry, Ray, I don't have one for you, unfortunately. <laughs> Thanks, bub. Hopefully you can learn how to use that thing and get some work done. Oh, these huge staples? <laughs> Ray, I'll give you the nails that go with it. Thanks. And then as a team, you guys can <laughs> really get stuff done. We're finishing this siding. We started finishing it yesterday with the LP Smart Side film crew, which was actually a fun day. They brought snacks, they brought a teleprompter, and we did some dancing. On my lap, push it back and go to town now. Putting rap on my back and I'm black and snatching crowns. How they came back around. I don't know. We'll see Jason, how that turned out. Jason missed out on yeah. his greatest asset to the crew. <laughs> his dance moves. I'm a little worried about how this dance thing turns out on their Instagram. I cannot wait. I mean, I felt like we did a pretty good job dancing, but I guarantee you did not. I've do seen a good job. videos of myself dancing like People once in my life and it was way worse than I thought it was. That's all I got to say. People are going to love it either way. Yeah. We look like the whitest guys there is in the That's world. That's what I was going to say. Because we are. I can't wait to see Jesus. No rhythm, no nothing I'm good. Glad the white man's over <laughs> <laughs> I was glad you weren't here because it always gets a little weird when you're when you really get into it. it gets a little too sexual or something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, I know. Yeah, there's a lot of like hip thrusting that I don't want to see. spotted our railings coming up here and he chose the correct route this time didn't want to have to get on camera getting stuck i don't blame him oh that guy yeah that guy this truck's getting ready to oh there you go oh look at that it's like a shower <laughs> uh oh stay <laughs> You're gonna have to go turn around down to the neighbor's driveway <laughs> and uh, it, it'll be facing uphill, you'll be fine. <laughs> I tried that once. This is our outdoor deck railings. Envision Outdoor Living Horizontal Baluster Rail. Were you carrying five posts right then? No, just four. I didn't four? Want to get them okay. Too bad. No, 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 no. I got to carry all five, Jono. There we go. All right. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> ah! I'm going to drop them. <laughs> you got that? Oh, yeah. We're going to have to dig across. A buried electric power line. I see that. Yep. And I'm going to ask this guy here. This is supposed to be 36 inches deep. The uh, power. electrical power. Now the water line only needs to be 18 to 24. So if everything is right, then we won't be having to cross this like actually. You want to take any it. bets on that? Nope. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> operating the machine. Now this telephone and internet stuff. Um, I can. I'm going to ask him here in a second how deep he thinks that this is, or how what is the common you know, depth of it so that we can be prepared to either, you know, hand. hand dig it or think that maybe it's okay. Um, also the neighbor wants water. So <laughs> I'm actually going to be having them to dig over here. We're going to install another shutoff valve for the neighbors okay. while the community system is shut off because everybody's going to be out of water for a time while we Ooh. have this tap uh, into the You're main be line. Enemy number one. Tomorrow. Well, at least I did the nice thing. I notified the, um, the chair of the HOA. So he has sent out a mass email to everybody uh, notifying them with the your water. phone number on it no no <laughs> uh notifying them at the time and date at which the water will be off and okay. uh this guy is done he's out of here uh, yeah he's he's doing his job there and, and getting on to the next one i've got the green brothers crew here digging up the road my man josh was saying that they're digging this way now which would be across the water line but once they get a certain depth he's going to get his machine and actually dig down the road which is the same direction as the water line so he'd have less chance of hooking it with his tooth and ripping it out of there that's pretty smart. Right now the water is on because they don't want to have it off for longer than they need to. So as soon as they locate it, we're going to shut it off. And hopefully we don't have to like go shut it off as an emergency type thing. All right, so 
little shovel battle down there. That's not three feet deep though, is it? How deep do you think it is? That's probably like two feet. Uh, well, I got a tape right here. I mean, we don't need to take it in too much. Yeah, that's about two feet, like I said. Two feet. Yep, perfect. Oh, that's a big line. That's primary. Yeah. All right. There's one Holy the, cow. That, that's the main obstacle. Yep. Let's go see if we can find it. They've so located the, the water line here. They're going to cut a section out, and then they've got this crazy expanding fitting. Try that again. They can put it in and just like expand it out till it connects. I bet that's expansive. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. How does it work there? <laughs> it's got O rings inside of it. Yeah. And that's good for 200 PSI. 200 PSI. Wow. Schedule 40, 200 PSI. That should do it. Here's one of our posts. They have a flange that covers all of the attachment. And I was really happy to see that they have these leveling screws or bolts that we can tighten in with an allen screw to basically take the post if it's slightly out of plumb and plumb it or even raise it up and down just wow. a little bit yeah and they're nice and big so they won't eat into the decking because the decking's not super hard this is going to be way better than what i did on my house yeah. john is going to go ahead and start all these little adjuster nuts we'll call them adjuster screws that way they're ready to and then look how that one looks this one's different that's, uh, that's you gotta figure it out no, he doesn't. read the directions bro before you tell me what's right <laughs> better make sure they're right side up for jaybird here we're looking at everything to make sure we understand what we're dealing with and i just noticed another good thing is that these holes for our fasteners for the framing are ovalized so that if we get the post like slightly out of square to the line of the railing we can just twist it and tighten it back down. So that's good. And also, of course, the drain hole. We built some of these one time, uh, posts like this, and welded a flange on the bottom, but didn't put a hole in it. Mm. And the posts actually filled up with water through the holes we had drilled for the cable rails, mm. like just over time, until it was running out of the cable rail holes. And so from my memory, I had to go underneath with one of them, what's it called an aircraft bit, or like one of those super long... I remember that. Where did we do that? And at? drill like right. through the entire girder up into the bottom of the flange and try to hit it and drill a hole so it would it would drain from then on out. I went through like four hundred dollars worth of those bits in one day because I kept snapping them. <laughs> Some sleeve retainers. Yeah, we're good. Uh, here you go. We're <laughs> sleeve retainers. <laughs> Jono found a nice A210 installation template. And we're going to use that to mount our railing brackets. So it's just going to slip in like that. And it's got little self tapper screws. I guess those are stainless probably. Okay. Yeah. And I'm not going to overdrive those. <laughs> I'm going to overdrive and snap I'm them. I'm only saying, cause when I built yachts for five years, like you would try and it was square heads too. Yeah. And you try to put those things in like a yacht and dude, it, they would snap so often. Mm. Ray's always the man that looks up how to do things right. So we're double checking here. They do have really nice installation instructions with pictures. And I think we're okay. We're doing a couple of these steps flipped, but I don't think it matters. Yeah, it don't matter. Just, so you just keep that pulled up. You know, you just got way too involved, Ray. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If it was wrong, you could have been like, well, that's how Perkins did. Now he's like, well, Ray was following <laughs> along with the phone. We've got our corner post ready to go here. So I think we can mount it. What I'm going to do is put it in place. I've got marks for the outside of the flange there. That should get me squared. I'm just going to put a dot in the center of each of these. And who that almost hit a screw. And then right, we'll pre-drill the decking and then I'll put this back and screw it. go that way it's gotta go towards that okay. way 
you'll have to you'll have to tighten that one in some and then these about half of whatever that is you know what i mean because once once this gets lifted up you're going to be fully supported just by these guys so she's plumbed up she plumbed up baby. tighten down tighten down i don't know if she's square anymore but okay that's hey, not uh, our guys, job yeah what Oh my gosh! Oh, we didn't put yep. the flange on. Exactly. Oh, it comes apart. It needs to go on before it comes you apart. Put, it, it comes, comes apart. apart. Oh, it does. Yeah. Well, we yeah. hadn't figured it out yet, but, but it does. It's gotten worse that it comes apart. All right. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> Whoa! Don't <laughs> you're gonna freaking elbow. I don't think so, you... dude. I think it's gotta be. No, it comes apart. I don't think it comes apart, bro. I it... pulled that thing so hard. I saw you. Oh, this is why. It's got little latches. Come on, bro. <laughs> you you told me to pull it, dude. I didn't know. Oh my god. You were like busting your guts. <laughs> All right. There you go. Oh, it just got a little tab. There you go. We're finally installing the horizontal top and bottom caps. And it's pretty nice because they all have these little shrouds at the end. So once you screw them in, you can just slide that. So it doesn't have to be all the way tight. That's good since Jason's cutting these. And then the bottom shroud just snaps on. Whoa! Oh my gosh. <laughs> like that. For the intermediate balusters, it seems impossible because it has these nubs sticking out. But what it does is tells you to cut it a certain amount short and then these slide out past like that to make up the difference and screw on. So let's see if this works. It was like an inch and a quarter short of the post to post. post. post, to post so. There you go. Okay, I think that looks right. And then there's a little set screw on that. Why are your boys digging up up the road that way. All right, well, we've gained some intelligence here in the last short time. There are two wells that are divided close to this property line. Oh. They're called the lower and the upper. So the pipe we hit was not the right one? The pipe we hit belongs to the lower system. Oh. Which is already maxed out in its capacity. Hmm. So the upper is where we belong. It's a lot of extra digging. Yeah. They've already been here for three quarters of a day. <laughs> Oh, man. And they thought they were done. Yeah. Wow. Well. Well. <laughs> well. <laughs> so there's the right one. There's is that one. the? Are you sure it's the right that's one it. though? I don't care if this. No, point, here it is. Not. I got it. No, that's it. How here do you it know is. it's not the same one as the one you down there? We I'm shut just the asking. shut the system down, and the water that feeds this house stopped running. But the water down there kept going. Full okay. blast. Just double checking. We dug up the valve going to that house, yep. and that is this line. Okay. So we're gonna tie in here, run down to hers. Okay. I'm glad you guys figured that out before you left with the excavator. <laughs> that would have been pretty bad otherwise. I don't know who's having it worse, the uh, water line people out there or us. This is all we've got done today. <laughs> we're getting faster. <laughs> hey boys, those round things supposed to go up and down. Not sideways. <laughs> Today's video is brought to you by Keeps, and they've been a long time sponsor of our channel, so we appreciate that. Today I'm at Dollywood with my friends. Woohoo! How you doing, guys? Hey! <laughs> you just wrote a scary one. <laughs> so Keeps can help you keep your hair, and the odds are if you're over 35, like all of us, two out of three of you guys are gonna have some kind of male pattern baldness. So let's do the math here. One, one two, three. Oh, it's three for three? <laughs> so we're three for three. If you're interested in not losing your hair and keeping your hair, all you gotta do is go to keeps.com slash Perkins and you'll get a great offer. And by say June, you could be keeping your hair. It takes about six months, really easy to use. Get a three month supply at a time. They send it right to your door in a discreet box if that's something that matters to you. Everybody knows I use Keeps, so it doesn't matter to me. You ever thought about trying Keeps? No, I just never heard of it for the first time. <laughs> I can use it. Yeah. <laughs>
Keeps also has great customer care and support that I've used personally, and I've had a great experience using Keeps. So make sure to click the link down in our video description or head to keeps.com slash Perkins. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Perkins for a special offer. Thank you, Keeps, for sponsoring our video. Let's get back to work. <sighs> Morning, bud. Morning. How's your butt? Dude, it freaking hurts <laughs> still. It hurts worse today than it did Friday. Jason wiped out snowboarding and said he had like a pump knot on his butt that was visible through his pants. Yes. That wasn't awkward. <laughs> And it's black, it's getting black and blue now. It's like purple, yellow, blue, black. Oh, yeah. Mm. It hurts. And I got probably got a concussion. I hit myself so hard. Some young kid stopped me and was like, are you all right? I was like, I don't know. Perfect. I was like, let me just lay here for a second. We're going to start the day out here with a little bit of Christmas action, we'll call it. Um, we had a company, Bora Tools, and also this brand, Ox. They sent us enough tools for all of us to have like one of each of all this stuff. Everything? Everything. Everything. So let's Everything. break it out. Okay. See what it is. You wait for Jono? Nah. Yeah, so my wife was like, what in the world is going on? I was like, don't worry about it. It's just tools. So Bever did send us a core drilling drill because Ooh, yeah. we need to drill a hole in the crawl space. And look at the bit. That's the bit? <laughs> yeah. Not it. I don't want to brag, but I got the biggest That's bit you, in this bro. county. <laughs> look at that thing. So yeah, it goes on this <laughs> bad boy right there. And uh, so we're gonna drill a hole so we have a low point drain. Wow. So that's one thing that's good. And then I don't know what's in these other boxes here. We've got, let's see, Ox brand torpedoes, two kinds, chalk lines. Oh, these are actually really nice. Tough carbon pencils. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, those are great. Okay, the pencils have different colors. That makes them even way more useful. Snips, snips. I don't want to hold this camera. Right? Hold the camera. I'm, no, I want I'm jumping this. in. Oh yeah. my gosh! Look at that guy. Yeah. That'd be good for tile. Mm, not it. <laughs> oh, there you go, uh, Ray. There's your trial. Ray just noticed that this torpedo has an angle finder bubble on it, so you can twist it to whatever angle, and then when it's level, you're at the angle, and that's actually that's pretty smart. Really, wow. that'll be really useful. I've never seen that. Ooh. Wow. Mm. Okay, that's stout. Wow! Tell you what, dude, that is the ox grip. That's like that's she girthy. Look at that thing. <laughs> I don't know if you can. Twenty-two that. ounce. Other hammers. Ooh, I like that one. Oh, yeah, nice. twenty ounce. Yeah, it's more nice. Uh, chipper, I guess that is. Like, it's yeah. got the hand protector. Rubber mallets. Ooh, big twelve, big baby. 12. That's nice. Oh, got some speed regular sevens. Dude, look at the size of that thing. <laughs> Uh, that's maybe Arlo only there. New <laughs> slim handle design. All right, well, hey, thank you, Ox Tools. Um, we're also gonna look at Bora. Bora sent us a bunch of stuff. Finally, we have like a track saw here. And this thing is extendable to eight feet, but right now it's set for the four feet. And it clamps on a piece of sheet good with that thing. Hmm. And then you just run your saw. It just clamps on the edges. <coughs> oh, I see, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And it did come with this track system that you mount your saw in. You, you just put your saw base in there and then this just slides up and clamp. Oh, okay. We also got a couple of these rip guides. I think it's the same thing, no? No, no, this is different. Oh. This is just like an all-in-one rip guide. So you mount your saw in it. Oh. Look at that thing. Mm. Oh, I bet you just pull that lever. Yep. What? Yeah. So we got a pair of those. And it has adjustable legs too, in case we want to set it on uneven ground. Wow. Or set it higher or lower. Oh, it's like an old school uh, flip out rule. I think it's flip, flip fold. Whoa, look at that thing. Oh, is there more of those? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, if there's only one, then uh, I guess you get it. All right, so I think there's enough for all of us to kind of pick through and get something good. Yeah. And um, thank you guys for sending us the stuff. We'll use it. Check it out, and we'll let you know what we think. Yeah. It all looks pretty nice, though. Thanks. How's the hat look, okay? Yeah, it looks like you're 15. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> that feels good when you're 42. Definitely wearing it. I've got some muscle, but whoa. 22 <laughs> ouncer. That's a big boy. That's what we used yeah. to do with, like, Dad when we framed houses before nail guns. And last but not least for the day, we got something from Johnny Brook at Crafted Workshop. He's 3D printing battery holders for like your shop. 
that you would mount to the wall and drill holders. So he's given us a couple of these. There's the DeWalt version and slide your battery on there, Jay. Okay, yeah, and so you just screw that to the wall with these holes and you can neatly mount all your batteries, the ones that are charged. So he's got yellow for DeWalt. He's got red for Mealy Walk A. <laughs> and I'm not sure what the black is. I think black is DeWalt too. Black is DeWalt too. Okay, Perfect. so you can get red or black for DeWalt. He's got these for sale. I think it's called craft3d.com. Yeah. Yeah, craft3d. Yep. So a little shout out there to Johnny Brook. He's got these for sale. They're really affordable and can really get your shop organized. All right, what are we doing today? I'm, <laughs> I'm totally sidetracked. I think we're doing rails. Okay, let's do that. These adjusters are actually amazing. We had one post down there that when we sighted was a little kicked in and I just took the base cover off and tightened a couple of those and it went right in line, which was awesome. Oh, you All right, try that. Your, uh, driver there. Yep. Well, it's kind of homemade if you couldn't tell. Uh, it's actually too much. It needs to go back. Now, in. I bet if I hit those home mode, it'll be just right. Yeah, so we're getting faster. It's, it's a lot of the same thing today, basically. We're doing this like over and over and over and over and over and then again. Time to make the donuts. <laughs> what? You never heard that either? No. John was the only one. Dunkin' Donuts back in the day, they had a guy every single morning, he woke up, he'd walk in, time to make the donuts. And it's the same thing every day. Well, time to make the donuts then. What's the verdict? Well, right now we're mocking up the, uh, the drip edge pieces and a piece of metal to see that I like it all. And okay. the way that the gutter is going to attach on this bottom edge, I they had to make a little adjustment for that, but it's looking good now. He's looking good today, isn't he? Look at him. True work. MIBs, yeah, look at him, man. All right, so all right, what we are going to do here, because we have a really long gutter line, do you know how long this is? 70? It's over 60. Okay. All right, so there's no chance of keeping the gutter under the drip edge, all right? And we have like this narrow strip of wood, it's all solid wood edge, that the screws for the gutter hangers need to hit. Now, if they arched it, we would be, you know, like I said, way too far out of that one inch. So they're gonna overlap on top of this. And because of that, I had this piece specially made to hang down below the bottom of the wood part by like one inch. I see so that. any water that got behind the gutter is going to drip out below the wood. Okay. That's the plan. Sounds good. Is there gonna be a downspout at each end? I think only one at each oh. end. And actually- So to, it is gonna be like up in the middle and slope down towards both of the yeah, ends. Yeah, sort of crowned up if you will. Now yeah. we might actually, we might scoot it back from the end. I don't know if I want to put it right here on this beautiful uh, I don't think post so. right here. I think we want it right there. So we might scoot it back to there, but we have to consider that on the other side, we have a short 10 foot section of gutter. That is gonna have, have to have, have a, a spout. A downspout there too, or- you Could go down I, the wall um, and through the- It could do that, but deck. we actually discussed maybe doing a rain chain. Oh yeah. So that it wouldn't be a big gutter thing. Yeah. And this is a very minimal amount of area that that roof is catching going to that gutter, a 10 foot by 10 foot area. And so it'd be a small amount of water that a rain chain could handle. Mm -hmm. So Devin Jeez. installs siding, gutters, roofing, all kinds of stuff. Correct. So I was just gonna tell you a story of one time we had someone that told us once the gutters were installed, that they were installed crooked. Now they have to be sloped, yes. right? They yeah. were on they purpose installed sloped. crooked, yeah. but that we needed to take the gutters off and straighten them out, like mm. level them. <laughs> Good plan. And, yeah, good plan. <laughs> Only problem is once you do that, they water don't they don't work yeah. anymore because water has to like drain. So that was a pretty funny story. <laughs> yeah. Look out for clients like that. Oh man. <laughs> Gotta have your answer ready for them. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite American Spanish word that Jamie tries to say? You know, he's, he asked like, do you know the correct way to say thank you in Spanish? Yeah. And he said, and I told him no, he was like, grassy ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's not it. Grassy ass. Crap, I've been saying it wrong the whole time. <laughs> The guys are using a pretty interesting method here. I've never seen. It's just snipping this little kick out into sections, and then you can break off each little section pretty easily. I would have tried to rip that whole thing off with a blade or something stupid.
roofers are getting going the first few panels here on this long run and what they just did which i thought was awesome was they put two panels on there and pushed them up till they were flush with the edge here to get their like alignment and then they slid them both down to get the overhang to make sure it's all running straight is that a normal move you do yes yeah no you have to do it if not it's going to start going all wacky yeah. and stuff so so I've been using some of the tools this morning. I think my favorite thing, believe it or not, is just this marking pencil. It's just a pencil, but the lead is always out. You can sharpen it to a point for this detailed work and it goes in the little holster and the holster just stays. Look at that. And it has a sharpener on the holster. Yeah, it does right there. I can't wait to start trimming out the inside of the house. Yeah, this is gonna be really nice for trim work. So Devin and Daniel are stacking up 17 panels at once to gang drill them, like drill through 17 pieces at a time, all at once in the right place, all up the panels. I hope they get the marks in the right place. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's a lot of panels. But I, it is faster. Than it, it is, yeah. And I got full confidence that they'll do it correctly, so I'm not worried. This is stressful. He's saying the number in Spanish, then he's <laughs> repeating it in English, and they're reading it off this block. So these panels are called Galvalume. Yes. Which is not galvanized, but it looks like a galvanized screw or nail, and it doesn't need paint. It's going to be... <laughs> it doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't. So we don't exactly know what it is, but it's very slippery. I did notice that. It is it very slippery. It feels like a non-stick cook yes. uh, surface. And hopefully you know? that'll keep like algae and stuff from sticking on it and all that kind of stuff too. And it's also ribbed. The reason for the ribbing is to keep it from buckling. So it has like the big ribs and then the micro ribs. I'm pretty sure it's gonna look great. Oh, it's gonna be beautiful.